In this video, we're going to take a look at painting across UV tiles. So in this example, I'm going to be using this dragon asset, and this is a simple asset, which you can see here only contains four UV tiles. It's going to work very good in this particular demo. So we'll also notice here from the texture set list, we have several texture sets, and here I'm on the body, which does contain the four UV tiles, as you can see here in the 2D view. So let's come over here to our layer stack, and I'm going to click this add paint layer button. This is going to create a paintable layer. So I have a brush selected. So now I just come into my 3D view and I can just start to paint. And you'll notice then as I start to paint these strokes, I'm able to paint across all of my UV tiles in a seamless way. So again, here I'm just painting and you can see that I'm able just to paint across all of these tiles. Now we can also come over here to our 2D view and I can start to paint here in the 2D view as well. And again, you can see that I'm able to paint just across any of the tiles that I want to work with here. So I'm going to undo these strokes and because we're working in Substance Painter, we can also work across multiple channels. So for example, I'm going to right click to open up my brush properties and underneath the material, I'm going to enable my height. So I'm going to give this some height information as well as some roughness information. Now I'll come back to my 3D view and start to paint some strokes again. And you'll notice that once again, I'm able to paint across all of these UV tiles very seamlessly. However, I'm also painting across not only my color, but my height and rough channels as well. At this stage, we've been painting across all of our UV tiles. However, I can choose to mask specific tiles. So if I come over here to my layer stack on my paintable layer, you'll notice that we have this new icon. This icon represents the UV tile mask mode. So I'm going to left click on this thumbnail and this allows me to edit my UV tile mask. So if I come over to my 2D view, you can see that I can highlight individual tiles. The corresponding 3D mesh is also highlighted in the 3D view. I can also come over to my 3D view and highlight portions of my mesh, which will also highlight the specific tile that that mesh represents. Now here in my 2D view or my 3D view, I can simply left click to mask a tile. Here you can see that I have masked three tiles and I have my first initial tile, the 1001 tile is unmasked. Here if I take a look at the thumbnail in the layer stack, I have the number one, which indicates that I have one unmasked tile in this UV tile mask. So if I come back to the 2D view and let's say that I unmask the wings, here you can see that the thumbnail updates to show me that I have two active tiles or unmasked tiles that I can work with. Now, as I said, I can also jump over to my 3D view and simply left click to mask or unmask the tile. So here I have all of the tiles unmasked. And if I want to basically mask a range of tiles, I can hold down the control key and left click and drag. And you can see that allows me to mask multiple tiles at once. So now I have just basically this one tile, 1001. And let's go back to doing some painting here in our 3D view. So to exit the mask mode, what I'm going to do is just come back to the layer and I'm going to click this paintbrush icon. So now I can go back and I can start painting. Let's zoom in here on the body and let's go ahead and start to paint some strokes. So now I'm going to go in and I'm going to start to paint. And what it looks like is happening here is that I'm only able to paint on this body UV tile. So we can see that the mask is in place and I do not see any stroke here on the wing. Here you can see I'm starting to try to paint some strokes around the wing and I don't actually see anything. Now the UV tile mask is an optimization tool. So if I come back to my UV tile mask, I'm going to enter the mode and I'm going to enable or unmask the wings. So if I left click and we go back to our brush operation, well, you can see that what was actually happening is that the stroke was being painted across that UV tile. So like I said, you need to think of the UV tile mask as an optimization tool. It allows you to disable a tile from the actual layer computation. So this helps speed up performance when you're working on a project with very large amounts of UV tiles. Essentially, we're just stopping the update from the layer so that we can get a bit of a better performance in our 3D view. So I'm just going to undo this stroke here. And to showcase this, what I'm going to do, let me just zoom in here in my 2D view. And uh, let's jump back in here into our tile mask. We just have this single unmasked tile. So let's go back to our paintbrush. And I'm going to grab here one of my particle brushes. I'm going to right click and I'm going to set my material. So in this case here, let me just uh, go through here. I'm going to enable an emissive and I already have a color set. So I'm going to run this particle simulation here on my brush. 
And you'll notice here that as the brush or the particle brush comes up towards the wing, you can start to see that the particles are actually affecting the wing or any of the other tiles, even though that I have them masked. So like I said, this mask is just for optimization. It just allows me to view the result of the layer for the specific unmasked tiles. Once again, if I jump back over to my tile mask and we unmask the tiles by just simply clicking on them, here again, you can see that the actual stroke did carry across all of the UV tiles. So we also have an option that allows me to ignore paint strokes on UV tiles that have been masked. So here I have my layer. I'm going to jump into my UV tile mask and I'm going to left click here on the wings to mask them. Now we'll jump back to our paint mode and I'll rotate my 3D view. Here I'd like to paint on the body. However, the wings that are associated with this masked UV tile are obstructing my view. Well, I can come up here to the top of the toolbar and I can enable this option, which will cause the paint strokes to be ignored on masked UV tiles. So when I do that, I no longer see this masked UV tile here in my 3D view, and I can go in and I can just simply paint my stroke here. Now, once I'm finished, I will re-enable the option, and here we can see the masked UV tile present here in the 3D view, as well as my 2D view once again. So here I'm showing a more complex example. We have this asset, which contains 56 UDIM tiles. So I can paint across these tiles. I can create a paint layer. And with the default setting, I just have my brush. I'll go in and you can see that I can just start to paint strokes here across all of these UV tiles. So with this more complex example, I'd like to show you how you can use a folder with the UV tile mask. So I'm going to delete this paint layer and I'm going to add a new folder. And so let's just name this folder. I'll just call this plastic. And what I'm going to do is jump into my UV tile mask. So here, I'm just going to disable all of the tiles. So I'm gonna hold down the control key, left click and drag, and you can see that I'm able to then just disable all of my tiles. Now, here in my 3D view, I'm gonna go back and just left click to enable some of these tiles that I actually want to work with here. So here I'm just going through and just enabling a few of these tiles. So we'll just set something like this up here. All right, so I'm gonna go with something like this. So now over in my shelf, I have this dirty plastic robot. This is a smart material. So I can just now left click and I can drag and drop this here to the folder. This is going to compute my layer stack. And now you'll see that I was able to use the folder, which through my UV tile mask indicates that I have 13 unmasked tiles. And I'm using this folder as a global mask for all of the content that I drag into the folder. Now, this smart material itself has a folder and it's made up of several layers. And of course, I could then go in and further refine my UV tile mask by going in to each individual layer and masking or unmasking tiles. Using the folder structure along with the UV tile mask gives you more flexibility with the organization of your layer stack. This concludes this video on painting across UV tiles and working with the UV tile mask. The key point is that the basic workflows you are already accustomed to work with UV tile projects. You can paint, mask layers, apply filters, and generators to name a few. The UV tile mask is an optimization tool. It allows you to specifically set which tiles are computed, and this becomes important with large and complex projects. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.